When you have diabetes, managing blood sugar levels is critical, and metformin is one of the most commonly prescribed medications to help achieve this. It's effective, generally well tolerated, and has been a staple in diabetes management for decades. But what happens in the body when someone with diabetes stops taking metformin? Let's explore this question in detail, looking at the science behind it and what patients might experience. But, before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. First, it's important to understand what metformin does in the body. Metformin primarily works by reducing glucose production in the liver. It also improves insulin sensitivity, meaning that the body's cells can more effectively use the insulin it produces. Additionally, metformin helps to reduce the absorption of glucose from the intestines. All these mechanisms work together to lower blood sugar levels and help maintain them within a target range. When someone with diabetes stops taking metformin, the first noticeable effect is an increase in blood sugar levels. Without metformin's action of decreasing liver glucose production and enhancing insulin sensitivity, blood glucose can rise. Studies have shown that within a few days to a week after stopping metformin, blood sugar levels can increase significantly. This is particularly true if metformin was the primary medication used to control blood sugar. The liver will begin producing more glucose, and the body may become less efficient at using the insulin available, leading to higher blood sugar levels. Another important aspect to consider is the potential for increased insulin resistance. Metformin helps improve insulin sensitivity, meaning it makes the body more responsive to insulin. When metformin is discontinued, this beneficial effect is lost, and insulin resistance can worsen. This means that even if the body is producing enough insulin, it is not being used effectively, leading to higher blood sugar levels. Increased insulin resistance is a key factor in the development and progression of type 2 diabetes, and losing the benefits of metformin can accelerate this process. Stopping metformin can also impact weight. Metformin is known to have a modest weight-reducing effect, partly due to its ability to decrease appetite and increase fat oxidation. When the medication is discontinued, patients may experience an increase in appetite and potential weight gain. This can be particularly concerning as weight gain can further exacerbate insulin resistance and make blood sugar management more challenging. A study published in Diabetes Care found that patients who stopped taking metformin gained more weight compared to those who continued the medication. Furthermore, metformin has been shown to have cardiovascular benefits beyond blood sugar control. Research has suggested that metformin can improve lipid profiles, reduce inflammation, and lower the risk of cardiovascular events in people with diabetes. When metformin is stopped, these protective cardiovascular effects may be lost, potentially increasing the risk of heart-related issues. This is particularly important because people with diabetes are already at a higher risk for cardiovascular disease. Additionally, metformin has been associated with a reduced risk of certain cancers. Studies have suggested that metformin may decrease the risk of colorectal, breast, and pancreatic cancers. The mechanisms behind this are still being studied, but it is believed that metformin's effects on insulin and glucose metabolism may play a role. When a person stops taking metformin, they may lose these potential protective effects against cancer, although more research is needed to fully understand this relationship. A significant concern for many patients is the risk of lactic acidosis, a rare but serious side effect associated with metformin. Lactic acidosis is a condition characterized by the buildup of lactate in the body, leading to a decrease in blood pH. While the risk of lactic acidosis is very low, it is a factor that needs to be monitored in people taking metformin, especially those with kidney issues. When metformin is stopped, the risk of lactic acidosis decreases, which can be a relief for patients who may have had concerns about this side effect. It's also worth mentioning that stopping metformin can impact the gut microbiome. Metformin has been shown to alter the composition of the gut microbiota, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. 
These changes in the gut microbiome are believed to contribute to the medication's effects on glucose metabolism and weight. When metformin is discontinued, these positive changes in the gut microbiome may be lost, potentially affecting overall health and glucose metabolism. One of the less commonly discussed but equally important aspects of stopping metformin is the psychological impact. For many people with diabetes, taking medication is a daily reminder of their condition and their efforts to manage it. Stopping a medication like metformin, especially if it was effective, can be psychologically challenging. Patients may feel anxious or worried about their blood sugar levels and overall health. This psychological burden can impact their quality of life and motivation to adhere to other aspects of their diabetes management plan, such as diet and exercise. For those considering stopping metformin, it's crucial to have a plan in place with their healthcare provider. Abruptly stopping the medication without a replacement strategy can lead to uncontrolled blood sugar levels and increased risk of complications. Alternatives to metformin, such as other oral medications or insulin therapy, may be necessary to maintain blood sugar control. Lifestyle modifications, including a healthy diet and regular physical activity, become even more important in managing diabetes without metformin. Ultimately, the decision to stop taking metformin should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider. They can assess the reasons for stopping the medication, such as side effects or changes in health status, and develop an appropriate plan to manage blood sugar levels without it. Regular monitoring of blood glucose and A1C levels will be essential to ensure that diabetes remains well controlled. Now, let's explore a particularly fascinating aspect that underscores the importance of metformin in diabetes management. Beyond its effects on blood sugar and weight, metformin has been associated with increased longevity and improved overall health in people with diabetes. Studies have suggested that metformin may have anti-aging properties, potentially extending lifespan and promoting healthy aging. Research published in Cell Metabolism found that metformin improved lifespan and health span in animal models, and observational studies in humans have shown that people with diabetes taking metformin had better survival rates compared to those not on the medication. This intriguing finding has led to interest in the potential of metformin as a general anti-aging therapy beyond its use in diabetes. While more research is needed to confirm these effects in humans and understand the mechanisms behind them, it highlights the multifaceted benefits of metformin. Therefore, stopping metformin might not only impact blood sugar control, but also the broader health benefits associated with its use. In conclusion, stopping metformin can lead to several significant changes in the body, including increased blood sugar levels, worsened insulin resistance, potential weight gain, loss of cardiovascular and cancer protective effects, changes in the gut microbiome, and psychological impacts. It's essential to carefully consider these factors and work closely with a healthcare provider to develop a comprehensive plan for managing diabetes without metformin. The potential long-term health benefits of metformin, including its anti-aging properties, make it a valuable medication for many people with diabetes, and its discontinuation should be approached with caution and thorough planning.